Hi right, guys, it is a nasty, ugly, yuck, cold, foggy, bleh day here in the end times in the hellhole of the coast of Mendocino County, California here on Thursday morning, I believe, September 15th, 2016. Want to come up or not? And uh, this is your lucky day because this is the third depressed collapsitarian rant that you get on this depressing day. Uh, the little dog wants to go to the beach, but uh, the goddamn beach in Mendocino County. Good Lord. Uh, anyway, so I'm just sitting here ranting all day. And, and this rant, guys is was what I was doing was just going through the the mainstream media top headlines this morning actually looking ahead to Saturday's clueless moron roundup rant and good god but I found as I was putting stories into that file I, I you know I decided this today's headlines are simply worth their own rant. Uh, and sometimes all you have to do is, is read the the top headlines on the mainstream media uh, to become a a what? A would would the not exactly an anti-natalist. There there's some there's some confusion I think uh, with people thinking that I am an anti-natalist, if, if you define that term, that I hate kids, that, that, I'm, that I'm pissed off at, at, at little babies, at, at little planet-nibbling bundles of joy. Uh, that's kind of a harsh term. I don't hate babies. And, and, and little rug rats. Uh, I don't want anything to do with them. Uh, I, I am repulsed by them, but I don't blame them for being born, who I have a problem with uh, are, are fucking breeders. For, for those of you who do not know me, I got a vasectomy at age 22 before I ever had one of these goddamn little planet nibbling bundles of joy. Uh, these little adorable uh, little little cretins. But again, it's not these little fuckers. I, I have nothing, nothing but but pity uh, for for the horror. That the that these little creeps are are going to inherit uh, from their clueless fucking moron parents. So anyway, guys, uh, I, I'm just gonna go read. I think there's six stories here this morning on today's mainstream media to explain why I hate breeders. And you can decide what this has to do with the collapse of uh, humanity, civilization, and this planet. You, you can draw your own dots, and, and I don't even need to make many comments, uh, especially with this story, many versions of this story on the mainstream media that just says it pretty much all. Mom solicited men to sexually assault 10-year-old daughter. <clears throat> Albuquerque, New Mexico. The mother of a 10-year-old New Mexico girl who was found dead and dismembered told police she looked for men online and at work to sexually assault her daughter, according to search, search warrants in the case. The document showed that this fucking evil bitch 
who deserves to rot in hell, Michelle Martins, told police that she had set up encounters with at least three men before the girl was drugged, raped, killed, and dismembered last month. The single mother told investigators, and, and, and this is a white woman, by the way, guys, in, in case you think uh, that, that I'm being racist here, this is a fucking evil white bitch, okay? Just so you know, the single mother told investigators she did not set up these sexual assaults for the money. You know, I was reporting, how many weeks ago was it, a very similar case with, with, with this other fucking evil bitch who was setting up sexual assaults of her 11-year-old daughter uh, for heroin uh, fixes. But this single mother, uh, what, what is this bitch's name, Michelle Martins, told investigators she didn't set up the sexual assaults for money or drugs or anything else, but did it because she enjoyed watching. It is unclear how long she had been arranging meetings before Victoria Martin's death, or if police have identified any of those men. Police found the girl's dismembered body inside the apartment she shared with her mother on the day she was expected to celebrate her 10th birthday. Hmm, yes. Uh, Michelle Martin's Fabian Gonzalez and Jessica Kelly, a cousin of Gonzalez's, have been charged with first-degree murder and aggravated criminal sex penetration of a child under 13. Victoria was stabbed and strangled before being dismembered. Uh, Martin's 35 years old told investigators that one of the men she solicited was a co-worker. Two others she met online, including Gonzalez. He was to be the last. Yes, uh, Martins used the dating website Plenty of Fish to look for men to sexually assault her daughter. Uh, police uh, have, in, during the search, uh, found several electronic devices, including a camcorder they believed may have been used for sexual exploitation of children. There you go. There, there is nothing I need to add to that story. If, if there is any person on this planet reading this story or hearing it who does not believe that this evil fucking cunt, uh, Miss Martins, does not deserve to be killed, just taken out, and hopefully to rot in hell for eternity if anybody listening to this, can read that story and still be opposed to capital punishment. You are so hopelessly fucking, just completely morally bankrupt. I have got nothing but pity for you. You're all lefty here. Uh, 
We need more capital punishment on this planet, not less. And this fucking bitch will be a good place to start. This has nothing to do with right wing, left wing. This is uh, this is a basic story of right and wrong. This fucking bitch deserves to die. A bullet cost about twenty nine cents. Okay, from that story to this one, authorities. Man stabbed six-year-old daughter as rangers approached. A man who lunged toward his six-year-old daughter and stabbed her in her heart as two park rangers approached them along the Blue Ridge Parkway in, in North Carolina said he killed his own daughter so that no one could take her from him again. Yep, yep, yep. Um, let's see. As, as the rangers approached the father and daughter, they were unaware uh, that this, this fucking evil creep, 36-year-old Seth... Willis Pickering had taken his daughter Lila from the home of her custodian. Uh, let's see, so what what <coughs> happened here? How's it going? One ranger asked after identifying himself. It's going fine. Nothing going on. Pickering responded. Without warning, the rangers saw Pickering turn away and make a lunging motion toward Lila, who was standing a few feet behind him. The ranger, quote, heard an audible thud-like noise and a brief high-pitched wince or groan a sound coming from Lila, who then fell to the ground. Quote, Did you just stab her? The ranger asked, according to the affidavit. The rangers drew their weapons and saw Lila with a knife protruding from her chest. The girl died at the scene. Uh, there you did this go this goes on and on guys. Uh, I, 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 I think we've heard enough of story number two. Let's move to num story number three. Actually, I was reporting on this story almost a year ago. This is just the latest development in this case. <clears throat> Maryland man pleads guilty in boy's fatal beating over birthday cake. At, at least this is not uh, this, uh, this kid's father. Uh, at, at, least, at least this part of the story. A Maryland man on Tuesday pleaded guilty to hand... Oh, this is the uncle pleaded guilty to handcuffing his nine-year-old nephew before he was fatally beaten by yet another grown man for eating birthday cake without permission. This was Jacob Barajas, 25, of Hagerstown, Maryland. Uh, pleaded guilty to first-degree child abuse, child abuse resulting in severe physical injury. Prosecutors dropped the other charges against him, including second-degree murder. Uh, Baraha said he 
had handcuffed this uh, this nine year his nine year old nephew Jack, his sister Oriana Garcia's son, to a chair before her boyfriend friend Robert Wilson beat him to death for eating birthday cake without permission as Barajas watched the fatal beating. Um, the boy died from head injuries and Wilson pleaded guilty to second degree murder, was sentenced to 30 years in prison and I guess Garcia, the boy's mother, faces second degree murder and other charges in the death of her son. So this fucking creep, this grown man who beat this nine-year-old boy to death for the crime of eating a piece of birthday cake is now going to be supported in prison for the next 30 years. This fucking evil scumbag, the taxpayers, will pick up his bill for three squares and a cot a day for the next 30 years because the, the criminal justice system in this country decided this fucking creep does not deserve to die. Okay, what do we have next? Our next story. Uh, this actually, uh, amazingly, and, and why, I had no idea, does not include a dead uh, kid, but the kid uh, would have been better off dead. Okay. <clears throat> Parents arrested after blind autistic boy age 17 found weighing just 88 pounds. A Colorado couple have been arrested after investigators say they allowed their blind autistic teenage son to go malnourished for years. The alleged abuse came to the attention of police last week when David and Vanessa Hall took their 17-year-old boy to a hospital in Longmont where they reportedly told doctors they believed the 88-pound teenager was suffering from the flu. Doctors, in turn, told the Halls their son was in fact suffering from a nearly fatal mix of dangerously low blood plasma, severe malnutrition, and a stage 3 sacral pressure sore. And doctors also diagnosed the teen with acute renal failure. According to the arrest warrant, the parents told doctors their son was a, quote, picky eater and therefore had been living almost exclusively on seven to eight sodas per day as well as, quote, cheesy cracker type snacks such as Cheez-Its, Cheetos, and Doritos. Uh, investigators say the boy has not been seen by a doctor, dentist, or home care specialist in the last eight years. Uh, a medical nutritionist described the teen's physical condition as, quote, consistent with someone who would have been in a concentration camp 
for several years. Uh, upon questioning, the affidavit states that Mr. Hall, quote, appeared more concerned with how his son's hospitalization would affect his social security payments and how they would need to change him to the payee when his son turned 18 than they were with their son's grave state of health. Both he and his wife were arrested by Longmont PD on charges of child abuse and negligent serious bodily injury to an at-risk person. Uh, both the parents have posted their $100,000 bond. So I guess they had, what, a couple of hundred thousand dollars to post bond. But uh, anyway, no comment needed. And I guess right here in California, I think I've already made my comment <clears throat> to this story. Death penalty, no option. In California Girls, 1973 Killings, that's girls, plural. A California prosecutor said Wednesday that two men, two grown men, charged with murder in the shotgun slayings of two young girls cannot face the death penalty because that was not an option when the girls were sexually assaulted and killed more than 40 years ago. The district attorney in Yuba County, California filed six counts of murder against 65-year-old cousins William Lloyd Harbor and Larry Don Patterson. Yes, uh... This, they were charged in the deaths of 12-year-old Valerie Lane and 13-year-old Doris Derry Berry. Uh, they apparently uh, were abducted while going on a trip to a shopping mall. Uh, their bodies were later found along a dirt road where they had been shot at close range. Uh, the six murder charges, three for each of the victims, include one count each of premeditated murder, one count of murder committed during a rape, and one count of murder committed while molesting a child, but the defendants will not face the possibility of execution if convicted. Again, what can I add to that? Yes, but Sancho Panza says, would you wrap it up, three rants I've listened to, and the sun is coming out on this beautiful day, so I will put a big smile on my depressed collapsitarian face about just how great it is to be a member of the human race and go take my little dog for a walk on the beach. Happy Thursday. Bye guys!